guys, so this makeup tutorial is going to be based on how to properly use concealer and corrector in order to cover the under eye darkness for both women and men. So if you're interested in seeing how I apply this technique, please keep on watching and have a good one. So first we're going to start prepping the under eye area and for that I'm going to be using my Clinique Anti-Gravity Firming Eye Lift Cream. This product is amazing because at the same time it hydrates and nourishes the skin, it helps to prevent the appearance of wrinkles. I will be applying this cream with my ring finger and dab it into my skin as this will prevent the creasing of the following products. You'll notice that this product alone makes a big difference. Then, after prepping my entire face, I'm going to be applying my Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation. Both corrector and concealer will be applied on top of the foundation as they both will blend more easily and it'll help everything last longer. And as always, I will be using my Beauty Blender to apply my foundation. Boom! Zoom it all the way. Now I will be applying my Bobbi Brown Corrector in Light to Medium Disc. It is the most amazing product for the under eye area to be honest. And for that I will be using my Sigma E55. And as always I'm going to be starting from the inner part of the under eye area and then moving outwards. What this corrector is going to do is to cancel out the pigmentation of the under eye area and it will instantly brighten everything up to give your eyes a less tired look. It has a peachy salmony undertone which is what actually counteracts against the dark pigmentation of the under eyes. Here you can see the difference between one eye to another, and yeah, my reaction says it all. It is, oh god, so intense. And depending on how tired I am looking that day, I will be applying one to two layers of this product, which is not that bad because it doesn't look cakey on me or crease. Next, I will be applying my L'Oreal True Mesh Concealer in the shade 4 to 5. This product is really good because of its long lasting formula. It literally glides on me. As you can see here, it's super super creamy and it gives such a great coverage without looking cakey or drying out the under eye area, which is what a lot of thick full coverage concealers can tend to do, but this one doesn't do that at all. It is really really good. Another option will be the Maybelline Fit Concealer, and I have tried that one, but I find that it actually dries on me a little bit, which I don't like at all, because it can look really cakey. Next I will be using my Dan Beauty Blender and I will be using the tip to go into all those corners. 
This beauty blender is perfect for the application of concealer because it will help prevent the creasing of corrector and concealer because it will grab all the excess of product and it will leave you with just the right amount to cover everything but still looking natural. Now step 3, almost done. I am going to be using my MAC Select Sheer Press Powder in NC30. And to apply it into my under eye, I will be using my ELF Blush Brush, which is a little bit tapered. And I'm just going to grab a little bit, tap off the excess, and apply it directly into my under eye. I'm going to be pushing it really, really into my skin. This will lock and keep all the product switches put in place and it will make them not to move and prevent creasing during the entire day. I like using a powder that has a little bit of color of my skin if I am going for a more natural look rather than something lighter or stark white. Just FYI, all the products will be listed down in the box below for you to check out. So there you have it, amazing technique. I hope you enjoyed it and please if you did subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up and share. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.